Once I had a conversation with a good friend of mine that confer converted to Judaism and he's very happy with his decision to convert but he asked me a very brave question and he said I'm going with that question for a long time and I can't find an answer maybe you will be able to answer he said today I don't believe in Jesus I believe only in the Creator I don't believe that no other person got spiritual powers and or, or he's beyond other people I believe only in one Creator I believe that Hashem the Creator Elokei Israel, the God of the nation of Israel he's the king that's my simple faith today but I have a question what's your question and he said when I was Christian when I believed in Jesus in those days I was praying to Jesus I was asking Jesus to help me and he was I was being answered he said he said I was calling Jesus and he was answering me so how you go, how, how should I deal with that I don't believe in him today I know he's not true that's what he said but he was answering me I told him listen my good friend he was not answering you back then it was the Creator that was answering you in those days and the Creator couldn't care less in which name you're using to call him you were innocent when you were calling him you just called the truth you called the source of life and you used the name that was familiar for you that's how people your parents your community your 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 life taught you that you should call him so you called him but the creator of the universe the source of light he knew that you were aiming to him so he answered to you there can be people today that will be religious from birth Jewish religious that they will be Hasidic that they will grow in shul that they will live all their life learning Torah and praying in synagogues and learning in Cheder Talmud Torah and they will be great scholars and they while they're learning they will misinterpret the right way of learning when they will call the real creator with his real name and they're not really going to call him because they will base their prayers on their fears on their anxieties on their sadnesses on their on their, their feeling of being lost and separated and then they won't call the creator in the right way so they might even find themselves in the most holiest place in the universe in the holy city of Jerusalem standing in front of the Western Wall praying prayers that will never gonna rise and won't be answered why because they're not calling him with truth because the Creator is close to every person that will call him with truth so what that you need to work on is your truth it's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those hustles.